So students, let's look into the concept of treatment of goodwill under retirement of a partner. We know goodwill is an intangible asset and this goodwill is being valued in the business for carrying out the business by all the partners. So when a partner is retiring or disease, disease is nothing but the death of a partner, both the retiring partner and the diseased partner are entitled to their share of goodwill at the time of retirement or death. The reason is because the goodwill has been earned by the firm with the efforts of all the existing partners. So before leaving the business or before the death of the business, all the partners have contributed for the success of the business. So therefore, all the partners are entitled for their share of goodwill. When goodwill does not appear in the books. Remember students, we are going to use four different methods of treatment of goodwill. So let's look into the first category of treatment of goodwill. That is, goodwill is raised at its full value and retained in books. The journal entry will be goodwill account debit to all partners capital account in their old ratio. Remember that this goodwill will appear in the new balance sheet as an asset. The second treatment, goodwill is raised at its full value and written off immediately. So the goodwill is being raised. At the same time, this goodwill is being written off or cancelled immediately. Then, the journal entry. 1. For raising the goodwill, that is, goodwill account debit to all partners capital account, the distribution is done in their old ratio. For writing off the raised goodwill, the journal entries, remaining partners or continuing partners capital account debit, the distribution will happen in their new ratio to goodwill account. Remember students, this goodwill does not appear in the balance sheet as an asset. Third treatment, goodwill is raised to the extent of retired partner share and written off immediately. So the goodwill is calculated in context to the retiring partner's share of goodwill and that goodwill is to be written off immediately so the journal entry first for creating retired partner share of goodwill that is goodwill account debit to retired partners capital account for writing off the raised goodwill remaining partners capital account the distribution happens in gaining ratio account debit to goodwill account now remember students again this goodwill will not appear in the balance sheet as an asset. The fourth treatment of goodwill. No goodwill account is raised at all in firm's book. In that case, remaining partner's capital account, debit, distribution will happen in gain ratio. Two, retired partner's capital account, retiring partner's share of goodwill. Now if you observe here in this journal entry we do not use the word called goodwill that means there is no word called goodwill as such is being raised but however this goodwill is ascertained with the help of retiring partner's share of goodwill and this goodwill is distributed to the remaining partners in their gain ratio. I will be explaining to you on how to work out this treatment of goodwill. Now note, in this case, retiring partner share of goodwill is adjusted directly through partner's capital accounts. So goodwill account will not appear in the books at all. Now let us ask A, B and C are partners. And C is retiring from the partnership firm. Now, for whatever the treatment of goodwill that we have discussed, what will be the postings in the partner's capital account? So, let's do the journal entry posting in ledger account. The first one is goodwill is raised at its full value and retained in the books. So, when the goodwill is being raised 
at its full value posted on the credit side as by goodwill account distributed among all the partners and this goodwill will reflect in the new balance sheet the second treatment goodwill is raised at its full value and written off first we are raising the goodwill distribute this goodwill among all the old partners then on the debit side we are going to write off the goodwill in new ratio between the continuing partner a and b the third treatment of goodwill goodwill is raised to the extent of retired partner share and written off immediately so what you are going to do you are going to find out what is the retiring partner share of goodwill so on the credit side you will write it as by goodwill account posted only in retiring partners amount column and this goodwill is now shared between the continuing partners a and b in the gain ratio written as to goodwill account treatment of goodwill no goodwill account is raised at all in firm's book in that case the goodwill amount is calculated in context of retiring partners share and written as continuing partners capital account debit to retiring partners capital account written on the debit side now please remember students in the fourth scenario that is when no goodwill account is raised at all in the firm's book then you will not mention the word goodwill in partners capital account we will work out problems under the treatment of goodwill and get a better understanding of treatment of goodwill thank you